Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Brandenburg campaign. So I'm thinking we just need to go up to force limit and then just attack attack Denmark's army. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces we can train units from. Um, we're at right now, I think 10 force limit. I think we just build seven more regiments. And if we were to do that, let's say we had 17, we'd be one over the force limit. I'd probably want to have four cavalry and 13 infantry. So let's go ahead and just do that. We will um, delete that and create, create the new one. Oh, I lost it. Best army ever again. So we'll just do this thing because I, I just think it's fun. So we need five infantry, two cavalry, 100 ducats. Shift click, add four provinces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did it know that seven was the most? Estimated time, 192 days. Manpower cost 7,000. Save it. And we're just going to have to have to take out the loans. And now we'll build the best army ever. 192 days. 128 days if we build it here, apparently. Okay. Let's do that here. And now we just have to let them siege. So we're going to lose control of Lubick. Um, at the very least, we're going to go hide in Rupin, since it's it's a defensive territory. So if they attack into us, we'll be okay. Um, if we are attacking into Mecklenburg, there is no river crossing from Rupin. So Rupin can be our, our like rally point, and then when it's time to move in to fight that army, we just we move in that way. So we can see all these armies are building up. It's good. Um, I love this music better. I'm going to be the first to say it. Maybe maybe not the first, but I am... Maybe I'm the only one. I like the Andreas Woldetoff music better. I, the new music is it's different. It's not the same type of music. It's just different. I don't... I don't honestly, I don't like it. it. Sounds It just sounds weird to me. Renew war taxes. We have stopped collecting war taxes. Would you like to renew? Hey, that's new and awesome. Well, um, we're still ahead of time on military tech. And we're broke as hell, so okay. I do think that we have, I mean, we have two wars going on right now. I think it's a pretty good chance that we're still going to be at war for a while. Fortunately, we haven't lost Lubick yet, which is good. Less war exhaustion. Do we need to lower war exhaustion for this next fight? It doesn't affect morale. It just affects... Manpower and recruitment time and all that other stuff. Oh, and then we can see the effects of Liberty Desire. Liberty Desire in Colonies, 0 0.03. That's not very much. Is that per month? If it's per month, that's more significant. If it's just a flat modifier, then who cares? Well, we might even be able, unless they get lucky, I mean, if they take it, that's too bad, but we might get lucky enough to be able to go fight them and not lose control of Lubick. I say, as it falls. Okay, no more, training, no more troops being trained, 17 versus 25. Let's go give it a go. Let's just go see how badass our men are. We've got to try. I mean, we've got to, we had, it's still, it's still before the years, so I don't think they've upgraded their technology. We've got a significant tactics advantage. We've got discipline and morale advantages. I mean, let's just let's just see what we can do. Sixteen on thirty. Yeah, it's bad. It's not good. But holy crap, we pulled it out. Holy crap, we killed. What is that? Eleven thousand men. We lost six thousand three hundred. We gained some army tradition. They gained more. They gained. A lot of war exhaustion. We gained a ton. I feel like war exhaustion is really brutal right now. I wonder if there's any chance we can actually stack wipe them. Probably not. I mean, they're going to have at least probably two months to recover. But we saved Lubick, which is awesome. And if we go to fight in Danzig, there's no river crossing from Hinterpommern, so we can move into Danzig. I think we have to do it. I think I think we have to win. Lubick is now the seat of a new cardinal. He's loyal to Brandenburg. Okay, so we did get a pop-up. I must have just clicked through it before. Okay, so we are going to have to hire some mercenaries. We're going to have to consolidate. 
we're going to have to hire some men at arms. Here. We need another loan. I know we're going in debt. It's it's brutal, but it is what it is. We've got to win this war. Or at least not lose to, to Denmark. I can't let them take anything from me. That would just not be okay. And we got to just press them while we're while we're ahead. Okay, we are at nearly full morale. Do we want to wait a month? No. That would give them more morale than we would. And we just got to move in and do it again. Don't lose. 14 on 19. Better odds. Okay. We lost, say, about 3.5, 3,200. They lost 6-something. Very good. The prestige gain is nice. Their prestige loss is good. Um, giving them tons of war exhaustion, also good. I'm guessing they're going to retreat right back to Holsting, Holston. At least po um, po the Polish war is going well. How many loans are we allowed to take? 107, and we currently have 12. So, as long as our economy stays good, we'll be alright. Is there a river crossing from Lubick? No. No river crossings around Lubick. Good. Well, I think again, we have no manpower, so we've got to just consolidate. Move in and fight him again. We lost 1,800 to their 6,000. Very good. And we know where they're going. The problem is that all these battles are helping out the war score for, um, I still want I want a summary for the battles. I would love to have a summary for the battles before it gets so long that you can't read them all. Like, just give us the summary up front. Like, I mean, that's the way that it works in CK2. You can see total war score from battles. Anyway, um, we're negative 21. All of our battles have been helping, but... The ticking war score is really bad. Novgorod's probably going to peace out with Muscovy soon. Maybe. And we are a uh, junior partner in the war, so there's nothing we can do. We cannot negotiate directly with Denmark. However, Denmark is really, really hurting. We're kicking Denmark's butt. This is a war... This is a war all about just showing them who's boss. Although this is really dangerous. I wonder how big this rebellion is going to be. I mean, it might be so large that we just lose the damn... We've got to buy down War Exhaustion. If we don't, the Rebellion's going to fire even quicker. And we stack wiped it. Awesome. Only lost 200 some men that time. Killed, like, what, 8,000 something. It's really good. Okay, we've discovered some provinces. Let's see if we can siege Danzig. That general, man, he has really paid for himself. Okay, we're losing tons of money. Why are we losing money? Advisors. We cannot afford this advisor anymore. I think we're just going to have to fire him. And, yeah. It's unfortunate. Novgorod has accepted peace with our former enemies of Denmark. White peace. So Denmark's gone. Well, at least we didn't lose land to Denmark. We, we had to go into like severe debt. 372 ducats in debt, just to stay ahead of that. Um, the only war that's going well is the Polish War. I don't think Muscovy's going to come over here and bother us. As soon as their enthusiasm gets a little bit lower, they'll just want to peace out Novgorod. So Novgorod's going to lose some land. How long is our truce? 14 and 82. Just five years. Good. And they are now threatened. Pomerania has collapsed. These mercenaries are very expensive. But we're making money now. Because we had to fire an advisor, but... Pomerania no longer considers the Teutonic Order a rival. 
All right. Do we want to move in and loot this? I think we do. We need to. Um, we'll just send one of the mercenaries over there. And these guys... 90%. Revolt risk map mode. 5.7, 5.7. We have to just go protect these provinces. Try to reduce the likelihood of that rebellion happening while we're at war. Lost a claim on Magdeburg, okay. Did we loot? We did. Okay, now it's saying looted. Maybe it just said it at the top last time and I didn't see it. That's probably more likely. And Magdeburg has joined a coalition. Okay. Seems like a good time for that. Hansa. Okay, so our truce ended with them. That's why. They join right back in. Oh god, I'm, I'm feeling like a coalition war is coming. Possibly. Coalition is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 province. 7 countries strong. 2 years, roughly, until this rebellion happens. It could be in 2 months. You know, you could roll an 8% chance twice back to back. I gotta say, one more time, I like, I really like this new rebel system. Not that I like rebels, but I like this rebel system. Alright, is there anything we can do in this war that would benefit us in any way? We have no individual war score. We have no claims to anything. Province modifier expires. Autonomy decreased in Mecklenburg. This province has had its autonomy restricted. So, Mecklenburg. So you're saying we could do it again if we wanted to. No. It's below 10%. Newmark. Same thing. Okay. That seems fine. Hey, we're not at war with Denmark. That means we can protect with our navy. Saxony has accepted peace with Poland. They will give Poland some of their money and give them ducats directly. Alright. Let's get our income back up. Four ducats a month is going to jump up to what? 7.85. There we go. That's what we need. That'll pay off those loans pretty quick. So. 24,000. We have most of those men. Hungary's in this war. We could go siege them. We got military access. We're still in a war with Poland. How strong is Hungary? Do they have much of an army? Maybe we can go fight them. Hmm. 20,000 men. Tech 6. I think we just... We're just gonna sit tight. Hey, there we go. So that war's over anyway. Teutonic Order will cede Warmia, Weistruck, Mamel, and Ostprusen. The Teutonic Order will renounce their claims on Kelmno. Okay. Poland is getting strong. So that war didn't really help us at all. I do want a guy... No, I don't. Not right now, I just want to pay off my debt. Okay. If they slip back down to medium enthusiasm, we'll probably be able to get out of the war. We'll shoot. So who's in the coalition again? The Hansa hates us. Or sorry, this is Bremen. Alright, let's improve relations with Bremen. The Hansa is rivaled to us, so they're never going to leave. Oldenburg could potentially be forced out. Magdeburg, maybe. I mean, it couldn't hurt to improve relations with them. 90% still. I, I'm, I'm really scared that I'm going to come in here one, one of these times and it's going to be at 95. And then just knowing that we're going to have a big rebellion really soon. Alright, so as much as I want to pay off debt, I also really want to reduce revolt risk. And I think what we need to do is um, Interpalmern 
5.1. We need more men, so we can just reduce revolt risk. I think we just have to hire... Ugh, so painful. We're gonna hire mercenaries. We don't have the manpower. But we need to reduce revolt risk. This is an extra 0.5 reduction. Look at this. Revolt risk 1.7. Drops down to 1.4. 1 1.2. That makes a difference! Trust me, it does. It makes a big difference. Oh crap, it's at 95. Son of a bitch. Um, I guess we're gonna lose the... Diplomatic power. Okay, so it could, it could fire at any point now. Basically, we have a 6% chance per month of having the Rebellion fire. So we're gonna have to stay at full maintenance. We're just gonna have to be prepared for it. How's the whole Emperor thing looking? Pretty unlikely. Two votes for us. One, two, three, four votes for Austria. Mainz, we have already capped out our opinion improvement with. Trier, we could get some more with. Cologne. I mean, the problem is that they're allied with Austria, so it's just really hard to compete. I think if we got an alliance with Mainz. That would give us three to their three. We'd have to ally like two of them. Which doesn't seem good. Hmm. Well here comes the rebellion. Let's just let's just be ready for it. I'm really nervous now. Unless, we could somehow temporarily get revolt risk down to, like, none. I need to get out of this war. So our war exhaustion can tick down. That's a big- that's a lot of the war- a lot of the revolt risk. 0.47. Hey, seriously, let us out. We don't want to be in this war. I'll concede defeat. I'll give you some prestige. That's fine. Go away. Let us out. Alright, cool. Well, at least over the next five months, the revolt risk will come down a little bit, decreasing the chance. It's still gonna happen. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to fight a rebellion. Okay, I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.